everybody. I hope everybody's doing well, especially with the COVID situation going on. Anyway, this is All Pro Exterior Services again. I just wanted to do a quick overview of the parts I've purchased recently off of Amazon. And I'm, I'm going to attempt to build a remote downstream box. I see a lot of guys out there building them and selling them. And uh, I'm cool with that. No, not a problem. Got to make the cheese where you can. But in the meantime, I said, ah, let me try to build one. I, I like tinkering with stuff. So anyway, let me show you guys the parts that I got so far. So here we got a U.S. solid remote control valve, which is right here. It's a two wire. So you got your ground and your positive, and it is a quarter inch NPT U.S. solid. It's very small. It probably is two and a half inches by three and a half inches in diameter. So got this. Also bought a kit of uh, let's see, it's the hose barbs quarter inch. It's a kit of five and Amazon. And I can put all the links in the description for you guys if you want to attempt to build this as well. But again, it's for the downstream quarter inch. Of course, you're gonna tape it or put some true blue on it. And uh, but this kit was kind of cool. Came with five hose barbs, quarter inch MPTs. Uh, also came with the, the uh, hose clamp so you can put the squeeze the uh, hose on it so got that got got a button let's check out the button it's an LED button on off make sure and again I have the link in the description but if you choose to go another direction on the switch make sure it's not a momentary switch where what I mean is you gotta hold the button down to keep power this is an on off switch so when you push it on the light will illuminate, illuminate turn it off it will stop and it's got a few wires here you need to figure out the wiring should be a big problem and also it has a little o-ring in here so we got that and then we got this comes with a couple remotes uh, let's see what this is uh, this is going to be our remote box right it's low antenna and here you got your positive and negative and then of course to the switch so my thinking and then you got your remotes here let's just open one of these this is a remote nice little remote on off uh, so my thought here is, is what I'm gonna do is you got your positive and negative and then you got your your uh, positive and negative to the pump so I'm gonna put the pump in the here I'm the pump the solenoid the valve in the here and I plan to power the switch from the battery and then run the other two to the switch now of course I don't know what color is which yet I'm gonna figure that out in a minute uh, so my my thought is push this on it powers this device then the remote hit on which on means bleach on and that would open this up and when I off bleach off, it would close the valve and stop the uh, chemical through coming through the downstream injector. Now, a lot of people ask you, well, if you're using a J rod and you got a little bit higher pressure nozzles that stop the downstream injector, what purpose is this for, right? I was in the same boat. Come to think about it, though, the lower pressure J rod tips are lower pressure. So in most cases, that's all the pressure you need. You don't need the higher pressure tips. So my plan is to just run a dual banger instead of a four banger like the J Rod and have me uh, a long tip. Uh, I got a Davis shooter tip plus a uh, fan tip. And it's gonna be the, the bigger orifice so it's not as much pressure. So when I cut it off, I can still use the, the Davis shooter tip as a rinse nozzle and the bigger fan tip as a rinse nozzle. I'm getting more volume and less pressure. That's the purpose of it. So we're gonna try it out and uh, see if it works. Like it says, I probably, I think this was 30 bucks. I don't know if that was 10, 15 bucks, six bucks, five or 10 bucks. 
I don't know, I may have 50 bucks right here in front of me. That's it. Uh, the only thing I need to get is a conduit box from Home Depot, which is a four by four by three inches thick. I'm gonna mount all this in there. But before I do that, I wanna make sure what I'm doing is gonna work. And then I'll put it all in a box, lay it out, wire it. And then of course, post a video with that to uh, get you guys squared away. So anyway, here's all the parts, camera. There's all your parts. Uh, and again, I have links in Amazon. Uh, no affiliates, so I'm not getting paid off for nothing. I'm just doing this to try to do it myself, and hopefully it works. And if it does, great. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, spread the love with my pressure washing people. All right, all right, I'm back. Uh, show you the mock setup. This is temporary, obviously. I don't have the box yet to put it all in and, and make it look nice, but I'm good, planning to get that tonight. Been working all day making the cheese. Got to chase the cheese. Anyway, here's the remote switch box. Here is the switch that will illuminate as we power it on. Here's the remote valve, quarter inch. Connected to my battery that's on my trailer. So the first thing we're going to do, guys and girls, is put the power on. Let's see if we look all right. We're getting somewhere here. Illuminated. It's on. And then we're going to get this remote from the long range remote switch, which claims 986 feet, I believe. Anyway, so here's the valve. Let's see if you can get a close up on the valve. Okay, we're going to hit bleach on. So I'm just hitting the on button on the remote. All right, all right. Off, bleach off. So there you have it guys this setup is working i just need to make it look nice make it look neat i chose to use these connectors here i'm gonna heat them up so to shrink the wire kind of waterproof them i put dielectric grease on all of the fittings and uh yeah so i'm gonna get a box i will continue the video uh again this is a remote downstream quarter inch valve that's uh so far so good keep you posted as soon as i get the box peace all right, all right. Uh, I was able to go get some uh, hose, a uh, quarter inch ID from Home Depot. Let's see if this thing is zoom in. Quarter inch ID, poly braid hose, 25 foot or 20 foot. It was like, I don't know, 12 bucks. And here's the box I decided to go with. It's a six by six by four junction box. No holes on it. Um, and it was like, I don't know if you can see that. It was like 12 bucks. So I'm gonna use this to put the valve and everything in there. So I'm gonna start working on that, getting it set up, and see you in a sec. All right guys, so I set up the valve in the box and I put a mark on it. And I already drilled out one hole, it's half inch OD. Uh, I got a powder bit, so just, I, I, I wanna explain how I did this. I just set the valve in there and essentially like this like this so you can set it any way you want but this is how I did it and I put it up against the wall and drew a mark over it and then I came in with a small drill bit on the mark if you could see it I came in on a small drill bit here and then I paddle bit it from the outside so let me show you I already did one side so I'll do this one real quick while we're on video. So I don't know how well you can see this, but here's the hole that I made. So we'll go ahead and start drilling this. Real easy. It's plastic. So the goal there is to is to have this hose here, this quarter inch uh, line, going to be running into that. So it fits perfect. So it's a perfect fit. You could put some silicone on it when you're done. But anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate that or show you guys how I'm doing this. And then I uh, next is the switch. So we'll work on that next. Alright guys, I got the whole drill for the switch as well as the uh, 
quarter inch tubing or a poly grade, poly grade hose. So anyway, look, I didn't have the right drill bit. I ended up using a rat tail file to kind of clean it out. I think it's a 9 16 but I only had a half inch, so I had to be creative and do what I, work with what I got. So I, I think I got it here. So let's see. I already got the gasket on here. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Nice, tight, snug fit. Put the nut on here. That's nice. Anyway, I chose to move it. This is the back of the box. I went closer to the front because my control switch is going to be behind it, and I didn't want to jam it up too much so this is kind of the layout that I'm going for just like that I don't know if you can see it in the camera and you know, my hands in the way but this is going to be up here that valve valve is going to be down there and uh yeah it's going to be golden all right let me get more together all right guys and girls this is the uh kind of the final layout uh if you can see it here's the switch you got your uh, remote switch back here. I pushed it a little bit to the left so you can still get to the screws in case you need to do some adjustments or make some tightens or whatever you need to do. And then your ball valve, of course, you got your uh, you got your uh, your poly line that needs to go on here, and it's going to clamp here. I have yet to uh, get this stuck to the box. I'm thinking some double, some 3M double stick tape to kind of stick both up into the box because the wall of the box is not thick at all so if I put a screw in it it's going to go through it and I don't know if I want to do that so uh, it's either that or uh, some hot glue hot glue is a good option too but oh, I even thought about velcro velcro is good too which I might do velcro on this on the switch so in case you ever got to remove it the valve uh, I don't know still kind of playing around with it but I'm gonna go test it and see if it works Okay, so is what I've decided to do on a remote switch box. I do have Velcro behind here, again, so I can take it out or put it in if I need to. And the ball valve is what I decided to do is just get a double-sided stick tape because putting a little bit more thought into it, the hose is going to help hold it in place as well. So you can also put a hose clamp on both sides of the plastic to kind of keep it in place if I need to. I doubt I will. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to put this in here and start getting it mounted up. Okay, here's the box mounted on the truck, uh, plumbed up with the poly braid hose. And you can see it, I don't know if you can see anything in there, but it's going directly to my battery. And then the hose here goes to my downstream injector on the reel. And you can see right here, got a little clamp on it. And I plan to mount that, maybe do some conduit just to make it look nice. But again, let's test it out. Pressure on, power on, I mean. Okay, there's a remote, bleach on. Bleach is on, bleach off. Nice. And again, if you wanted to add a strobe light or a light, you can do that. It's simple. Just hook it to the same source as, as the valve. So when the valve is powered on, the light's on. Very simple. Uh, only thing I would have done different, maybe, is put the switch on the side. It is a waterproof switch, but after thinking about it, I'm like, uh, water could beat down on this and sit down on this, but not a big deal. Uh, like I said, this, it was six bucks. But other than that, it's good. I put the cover on it. Step it up, and uh, yeah, we're good. And I'll uh, put it in action here soon. Give you guys a test. All right, guys. I am uh, got the DIY downstream remote box all set up. Used it, did some filming, didn't work out. So anyway, I got my, my tube here going in my soap tank with a little drop stick. I made the drop stick big enough for a 55 gallon drum or 15 or five, it doesn't matter. Hooked directly to the battery. So we're going to go ahead and do a test uh, to show you guys. So we're going to turn it on. You see there, everything's illuminated. Got the hose rail hooked up. 
And let's go ahead and turn the water on. Get the pressure washer cranked up. All right, guys. Uh, the soap is currently off. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna hit the remote or bleach on. So I hit the on button, bleach is on. So let's see if we get some soap. By the way, this is a Kyle Davis tuna tip. Reaches pretty good distances. Should be getting soap here in a minute. There you go. So, 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 all right, so we're going to turn it off, soap off, soap's off, give it a minute, So anyway, let's cut this down. All right, so we got it all set up. Everything works great. We'll go ahead and turn it off right away. Because what I will do is I'll run it through some clean water just to do that. Uh, clean the ball, the, the ball valve out. I put a bucket of water, just plain water. And I put the drop stick in it, and then I run it through the valve and the injector and the hose just to kind of clean it out. Uh, anyway, that's a DIY box. Downstream. You interested? Let me know. Get you good hooked up. Peace.